whether you're using high level click slow or any of the high level derivatives you're going to want to know about this new feature hi my name is samuel f robinson and high level just added a calendar feature that allows you to create menus in the calendar easier to choose from different services so whether or not you are marketing time in space equipment or labor you're going to want to see this let me dive in so on the screen right now i'm logged into click slow which is a derivative from high level and i'm looking at the calendar screen this is something that they created that was already ex in existence where it can synchronize with your google calendar and other calendars you can actually go in and create menus let's see let me see if i have one here ready for you so let's go to settings let's go to calendars and inside calendars notice that you have and if you don't have you can enable it groups service menu rooms equipment as i said before labor space and equipment if you're selling time in any of these formats this allows you to create menus that you can use so first thing that you need to create and we'll just walk through one you need to create a group and uh, a new group that I would create is a la carte. Services. All right. So we have a la carte services and a description let's just create a description um, individual services okay now you have two different types of templates that you can use. You can use the Neo, you can use a classic. Neo is by default, and now you get to put everything in one category. Here's something that I noticed. These categories are shared across the entire platform. So if there's a unique name you want for any one of these, you wanna grab it now. Otherwise, you may have to add a digital number later on as it becomes more saturated so a la carte services I'm going to call it just to be unique I'm gonna call it a la carte now if it's available I should be able to just click off of it if it's not available, let's say something like, well, I'll leave it like that for now. We're going to get where it's, it's going to get a little bit more complicated. So we call this a la carte and create. So now we have a group. And if you notice, it says this slug is already in use. So somebody already took the a la carte. Man, that was fast. All right. So let's add service. Let's see if that's available. Perfect. So that group is available. And now we go to the next stage. So we created a group. And now we're going to create the calendar. Each service is a calendar. Think about it like that. So I'm going to create a calendar. I have several options here. 
So I can do collective, I can do a class booking, booking for multiple people in a class. I can do round robin if I have multiple sales agents and I wanna go through and just have it choose each one. Or I just want a simple calendar for physical meeting space. I'm gonna go with the service calendar because it can also be virtual. Now you create a calendar name. Remember what I just said a few seconds ago. Each calendar is a service. So now let's go through and one a la carte service is, you guys send me some suggestions. Actually, no, I'm pre-recording this one, so you can't send me suggestions. All right, so I'm going to put Create ah, studio time. Um, shoot a video. Simple live video. We can always delete this if it doesn't make any sense later. All right, so here you have staff members. So you can actually add the different staff members. Now, key here is that you have to have the staff members in so you can select from them and you can have multiple staff members. Now comes the other part. Again, remember what I said for groups is also true for the calendar. The names are being shared. The space is being shared across the entire platform. So the person that creates the calendar first is one who owns that name. Just don't create a name, delete it, and think you can get it back after somebody else has it. All right, so bookings, and we're going to call this, uh, if I really want to do video, video editing. There's so many services now open by AI that, only your creativity can compete. So we'll say shoot a video and then we'll call this uh, video. Somebody already took VI video. Somebody already took video. Um, video shoot. And that's taken already. And let's continue here with, let me just change video. Let's call it um, short. Oh, it cannot have spaces either, short video. Okay, so the word short video appears to be available. Let's click off of it. Yes, short video is available now that creates some additional challenges here we're talking how long should this short video be and uh, what are you selling it for so if you created a video you know that the shooting part is probably the easiest part but you're going to shoot multiple times and then you're going to edit it down and then you're going to arrive at a short video so who pays for the capturing time the editing time and the actual video so we're going to say one hour for a video here's another beautiful thing in this service you can actually collect payments in the platform remember the days when you can use Calendly and you can accept payments in Calendly this ultimately replaces Calendly and begins to add all the components in there so I can say I want to accept payment and so when you book this appointment you pay right away and uh, let's say that we do it for just to put a number in there for this example let's say $125 you shoot a video and now the description so for the description we'll say um, Four, eight, one to 
three minute video which includes recording that's a lot okay so let's go with which includes collecting videos and using AI to fill using AI to enhance how's that so there are people out there that's doing everything themselves and if they had somebody to just be there capture the content or they capture it and then send it over we chop it up make it nice and pretty and then serve that back to you so that you can post in your channel so one to three minute video which includes collecting and using AI to enhance to produce all right confirm oh you also have advanced settings so we have the service name and I think it just erased everything I just typed so I have to type it over no worries this is what I want to show you here so remember I said we group things together here in this group we have various groups already where we're going to send them one link and everything would be in there so we're gonna call this one a la carte services and then a short video and then this one here we're gonna change this so it matches up uh, short video so that's the service name and then we'll have to type all this over we'll just type something in there uh, to create a one Content you send and AI to enhance. All right, a la carte services here. It's going to automatically populate the name. We have this. We can change the color of the event, how it shows up in the calendar. We can also upload a picture. Now, before I go into that aspect, it's supposed to be 180 by 180, and it's not supposed to be more than 2.5 megabytes. Now, that's the maximum dimensions. Now, I don't have any pictures that small. Um, let's see here. Let's choose something here at random. Let's see if we can find something really small. Just for the purpose of doing this, I know I have to go and fix it later. So let's use, let's see how big this one is. This one is 14 by 14. It's a little large. And it fits the storage size, but it completely exceeds on the dimensions. And uh, let's see here this one. This one is even bigger. And it's, let's see if he'll take it. Let's see if he'll take it. If it's going to take it, it should pop in here. 
and it looks like it's going to take it. Let's see if it looks better as a circle. No. Let's keep it as a square. So it looks better as a square. And now we can hit save. We should hit save before we hit the advanced button. Now comes the availability. We already said it was one hour. And buffer time, 15 minutes between meetings. Got to get something to eat in between. And then minimum notice. If you're going on site, then you want to make sure you have a data plan. So you'd put one in here. And then if you have uh, date ranges, you can use different date ranges. All right. We have everything in this particular one. Let's go down now to forms. Now you can have the forms pre-populate information. So the user doesn't have to type everything in. You can do a consent box here. You can create a box that they can check off to say, I consent or I agree. And then you can use the default confirmation page, or you can have it routed to another page that has a little bit more information on it for you. And then if you're using Facebook pixel IDs to track or measure, then this is where your code would go. And then you can auto confirm the appointment. And remember we said we were charging 125. It's here. And the information that we had previously posted is here. Now you can also make this live or you can make this in test mode. So you can use a fake credit card that won't actually transfer the money and then with that fake credit card and this in test mode you can actually test it out all right so we're gonna save as good practice you always save let's go down to the next one so you can do an acknowledgement email here yes they ordered a service and who should get that email the contact and the assigned staff which should be you and if you want to add additional email addresses, who should get it? Maybe you have a manager or a crew and you want everybody to get that email. Here you can also tell it to allow for Google. Google invitations so they can put it on your Google calendar and it lets you know. And then if the person's already there, then it skips over that person. And then you can allow them to reschedule and allow them to cancel. Here you can customize diff how you want the notes to show up. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's hit save again. And let's go to customize. So in here in customize, you can actually turn it into a widget. So have you ever gone to a website and on that website at the bottom right hand corner, you might see, oh, like you're looking at me. You click it and then it opens up. You can have a widget like that. That's what's called a widget. You can change the colors here. Should you want to create different colors, you can change the colors here. Background and foreground, foreground color here. And then you can actually preview, but we want to save. Right now I see that it's taking a little bit to save. So I may click out of this and lose everything, but that's fine. And let's see if we can get it to actually confirm or save. Now, when it comes to rooms and equipment, this is the area that you can assign. So if you're in a classroom setting, you have several rooms and you are allowing students to rent the rooms, you can do that. If they have a projector that they want to bring into the room, you can schedule that here and then they can rent that projector and it deducts it from the time. Now, you don't act need to charge for everything you can actually just put it in there and then they can allocate it but at least it shows how that part is going to work all right let's see that it's still turning in circles here i may lose my data but i had done one before so we can actually look at that one in any event that's sad we kind of like what we were doing here and refresh. Am I going to be able to refresh without causing an issue? Let's see. Reload. See if I lose everything here. All right, guys. Let's continue on. And the answer is... 
Let's do a search. Allah. And it is gone. We lost it. Yeah, it didn't save. No worries. So let's look at another one anyway. So if I come to service menu, I created one here. There's a step that we missed. Well, we, we didn't miss it. We never got to go to it. Where now you create the actual menu itself where they can view. So let's look at a menu here. So we have one here called Storm Raiders Media Ads. And let's see if we can open this. So you can copy the link and send it to someone and then they can choose. In this case, we want to copy the link. The link went to our system here. Let's see if we can open here so we're going to say new window and then we're going to paste it in and this is what it looks like so in this one we had two calendar items and you can click book and then it starts the process of booking that appointment for you so we had this one for a 30 minute meeting you can add if you're going to be joining with guests and you can also add additional services. So even though you're on this calendar, you can add another one. So if I click it, notice that I had one here book, I can actually go and select another one and it adds it together. So I know that I had 30 minutes of time to go. I'm going to kill one and then hit continue. And so it's going through the process here. If I choose to, I can actually select my staff or I can let the computer do it. So I'm going to tell it to select my staff and I'm going to select the staff that's available and I'm going to hit confirm. Now you can see that my staff is available, which is me. And uh, I'm booked for 30 minutes and it's giving me options here. Now, one of the things that I noticed in terms of we didn't select the date range, which limits how far out we can make the appointment. We just let it run. So which is not a good thing because you don't want somebody to schedule a meeting next month thinking that it was this month. All right. So we select the date and then we choose the time so we can select the time you hit confirm. And <clears throat> you want to populate this with information here. Remember that we had selected sticky. This is what sticky is. So it remembers what you entered into that field the last time. And so we can go in and rewrite that and update it. So we can now add little instructions detail that both parties will see, both you and the individual that's coming to that meeting. And so we're in our respective time zones. And then here you hit your confirm and schedule the meeting. I don't think we set this one for charging. Yeah, this one doesn't charge. But the first one we were creating, you would have been met with the credit card information at that point to enter. So this meeting has been scheduled and no doubt that there's an email that was sent out with that confirmation information. Didn't want to make this video too long. Hi, in case you're tuning in right now, my name is Samuel F. Robinson and high level and all their derivative just got an update from the calendar section, which now allows you to categorize and group your services so that it's more palatable for your clients to select services and so i'm ecstatic about this update and only business business owners are probably going to get excited about that because instead of having everything in one long uh menu like when you go into a restaurant you can have it portioned out and done that way so remember to like share subscribe and leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are about this video and what would you like to see next?